Welcome to the Scott Family Amazium. My name is Meg, and this is my friend Lillian. We're here today at our fantastic museum where we combine STEAM, so science, technology, engineering, art, and mathematics with hands-on learning and activities. So we have a lot of different areas in this super cool museum that we're in, but we believe that at the heart of all this playing is learning. And the way that you learn is you learn by doing. Okay, so we're here in our tinkering hub, and this is a great space for hands-on making and exploring of materials. And we are going to do an activity called Flying Creations. You have all of these materials to help you create something that could fly. So I've got scissors, hole punchers, coffee filters, bendy straws, toilet paper tubes, rubber bands, binder clips, pipe cleaners, and we've got some craft sticks. So we're not limited to these materials at home. If you have other things or recyclables that could be used, all of these things we found around our tinkering space, but you are welcome to use whatever you see in your kitchen or even your trash, because those are great things to tinker with. All right, so let's get started. Lillian, we're gonna make something that flies. So we wanna think about, when we're thinking about something that we wanna make fly, what is the best material to use to make something fly? Do you think it's something that's heavier or lighter? Lighter. Lighter. Right on, that's awesome. So Lillian told me that she wants to make a dragon type creature. So I think Lillian that we need to grab a body and some wings and maybe a head. Okay, can you grab those for me? And I'll grab some too. I'll make a dragon too. So I'm gonna grab, I think for my body, I'm gonna do a toilet paper roll. And someone left this for me. It has, it's covered at the bottom, which I thought was cool. And then I'm gonna use some streamers for the wings. And then I think for the head, I'm going to use a binder clip because it kind of looks like a jaw. What are you gonna use? It looks like you have a straw as your body, maybe, yeah? And then the popsicle sticks are your wings. Cool. And then, oh, I like how you're using the pipe cleaner to attach your wings to your body. I have to figure out how I'm gonna attach mine. So I've got my, my wings, my body, my mouth. Can I help you hold something? Would that be helpful for, you got this? Cool. How is the weight of your object? Does it feel like it's a good weight? Think of that feather. Does it feel good? I'm hoping mine will fly. I'm wondering, I don't know if it's gonna fly this direction though, or if it's gonna turn. So as Lillian is finishing up, you can add as many supplies as you want. I encourage you to try it out, make it fly, um, and then come back and change it and try again and see if you can make it better. So I think we should test out our creations. All right, let's head to our wind tube. Yeah, you can try first. Oh, let's see. Whoa, that was so graceful. It flew out. Let me see. I don't know. Mine, yeah, I don't know. I know, it's, it can't decide. Sometimes I feel like it's gonna go. Let's see. Well, thank you for joining us at the Scott Family Amazium. We're so happy to have you here learning about flying creations, how things float, what maybe doesn't float. We hope that you come see us here real soon in Bentonville, Arkansas, so that we can fly our creations together. Lillian, I think that we need to go play some more. Yeah. All right. Bye. <laughs>